I've realized that I start every video with hello everybody or some very similar to that and I'm like alright cool we gotta get some new material because they're probably getting real sick of it so uh I'm trying here people give me some suggestions if you have them okay I will take them and I will soak them in because I know I gotta get some new intros I'll start the next one like howdy there no I won't do that because that's just so no um <laughs> hey guys how are you doing uh i know i haven't seen you guys in a while i'm really sorry i've been crazy busy but it's not an excuse i should still be making the videos and getting them up because i told you guys i would and you guys are awesome and i love you guys and i'm really sorry so i hope you can forgive me um so it's fall fantastic fabulous fall i love it this is literally my favorite season because i love you know, hot apple cider and Halloween and pumpkins and actually I just carved my first pumpkin. Well, alright, I'll be honest, I didn't fully carve it. The guts really freaked me out and I got in there as much as I could. But then by like the 8,000th hand grab of those guts, I was like, you know, I am good. So, I technically still haven't fully carved a pumpkin before. But maybe next year, you know, I'll ease my way in. Um... But no, I love it. I love the cool weather and just we're getting so close to the holidays. So it's awesome. Um, I hope you guys have been doing well and that school's going well, your job's going well, family, friends, everything. I hope it's all good. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, not gonna lie. Um, I started uh, the Proverbs Challenge, which is um, there's 31 chapters in Proverbs. So October, there's 31 days. So it makes it pretty easy. Day one, you read Proverbs. 1, October 2nd, you read Proverbs 2, you know, so on and so forth, um, and I'm going to do it through the end of the year, so I'm really excited just to see the things that the Lord reveals to me, and um, there are some things which has inspired this video that he's revealed to me just, you know, the past two weeks that I've done it, uh, so yeah, it's awesome. If you're kind of looking for a way to just get into the Bible a little more and be more diligent with your reading it. Uh, try that because I'm not going to lie, I've struggled with being diligent with reading the Bible and truly just digging and all that stuff. And this has been really great for me to kind of put my feet in and then dive right into it. So um, I'm excited to see where else it leads. But if you're needing something to kind of start up, then try it because I love it. And um, at the end of a chapter, I kind of write a mini, like a little half a page or just something that I've kind of learned or something that I feel like the Lord's revealed to me through it and it's been really awesome so I encourage you to do so if you're looking for something um this week I'm gonna question I wish I could make something pop up I probably could I'm just not very technologically gifted um it's gonna be called are you wearing a mask oh my gosh y'all this is how my brain just kind of sometimes works slowly. That's perfect. It's almost Halloween. I am masked. Oh, wow. Man, God, he totally did that because it's so catchy. Um, anyways, I'm very fascinated by obviously very simple things. Um, are you wearing a mask? I was doing my devotional on the 14th because that's where it's from. Proverbs 14 is what I'm reading out of. Um, and there were, there's usually like one or two verses that really stick to me. And the one I'm going to read is the one um, about that. And it's not really talking about masks, but it totally just made me think of that. And um, I'll start, you know, with the verse and then kind of go into it. It's Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 14, 13. And it says, laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. I just thought that was awesome. Um... I've kind of adapted this habit of even if I've had a really bad day, if I'm hanging out with friends that night, I will literally be like, wipe it away. No, I'm fine. I'm good. We're, let's hang out. I'm happy. Whatever. And uh, I feel like a lot of people do that. And I'm sure there are some of you watching this who are like, yep, I do that all the time. You have to just put a smile on because you don't want people to know. The inside you are freaking shattered and trust me when I say I have had many many days like that and it sucks it does um 
And it's not fun. And so, that's just what I want to ask you guys. Are you guys masked? Are you, are you wearing a mask to your friends? Are you wearing a mask to your family? Are you wearing a mask in front of God? Like, what, you know, what's truly going on? And just, I guess I picked this just because it's been something that I've kind of struggled with recently is truly just allowing myself to be transparent and be transparent with people, with friends, with family, with, with God and just let him truly see the good, the bad, the good, the bad and the ugly. And I think there are some times where I'm like, oh yeah, but then if God knows about this or you know, sees this or something like that, then he's just going to be like, oh man, nope, sorry, I could do that, but no, nope, you, no, yep, can't, sorry, can't take it in because you got that bad habit or, you know, something. And then I'm like, all right, Colby, are you being serious right now? Like, do you know who he is? He is the ever loving, awesome God. Like, he doesn't work like that. And I have to remind myself, but it's not easy. And it's especially not easy to do it with friends and with family. If you're wearing a mask, take it off. Because I can almost guarantee your friends, if they're true friends, are going to love you with that mask off. Your family is going to love you with that mask off. And God will love you no matter what. Mask on or off. But he prefers it off. Even when it's on though, you know, he understands. Because sometimes you're like, I just need to pretend everything's okay so I don't have to deal with it. But in that verse, that laughter, ha, huh, pretending everything's okay can only go so far. Because when you come home, you have to sit and you're alone in your room. All of those things, either the guilt or shame or just hurt. Because people can hurt you. It's still going to be there if you don't let the Lord heal you from it. So be healed this fall season. Take the mask off and just be real. Be transparent with people. And don't try to be somebody you're not just because you want people to like you or be accepted. If people don't like you with your mask off, then those people don't deserve to see you with your mask off. Because that mask taken off and you being yourself, that's gold right there. That's awesome. And that's what real people who truly love you are going to want to see. And I've had to realize that. I've had to realize that, you know what? Some people ain't going to like what they see behind this mask. They ain't going to accept it, but that's not my problem. That's theirs. And you know what? It stinks because you might lose some people you thought were friends or something like that. But what can you do? It happens, and it's, it's going to happen. But it's okay. And God will be there. And he's, he's got your back, all right? Just be transparent with him. If you're hurting one day, be like, God, I'm really hurting today. It doesn't have to be this, all right, um, so today was great. Thank you for this perfect day and blah, 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 amen. Like, it doesn't have to be that. God, God's not just some, like, robot. He doesn't want to hear you just pretend everything's okay. He wants you to be real and be transparent and just truly open up to him because when you do that then that's when you get healing guys that's that's it is when you can truly be like you know what lord today today was awful and this person said this rumor about me that wasn't true and this person talked behind my back and it just really hurt and it really stunk like it was awful i just need you to heal me from it because i'm really hurting and I can't pretend that everything's okay anymore. And that's okay. God doesn't want you to be just some robot. He doesn't want you to pretend like everything's okay. He wants you to know that there are going to be really hard days. He never promised that there was not going to be hard days. But he did promise that he would be there with us. And that he would help get us through those days if you let him. So as you're going about your week and this fall... Bringing it back to the masks because, they, you know, just, man, that is just very catchy. Um, take off your mask, all right? And let people see the real you. And maybe it's just, like, one thing that you do and you only do it because the people you're around, like, laugh about it or something. But you actually are like, I really hate doing this. I just do it because I want people to laugh at me and think I'm funny. Like, be funny in your own way. Don't, don't pretend to be somebody you're not. You know, like... 
people will love you for you and if you don't then you know that's their own problem they can learn to love you for you and if they don't then bye bye just say alrighty God's got some people who are gonna love me for me that's what I'm telling myself alright so anyways I hope you guys have a great week and just remember that just be yourself that laughter can only go so far because eventually the grief or the pain or the guilt or the shame or whatever it is, it's still going to be there at the end of the day and pretending that it's not doesn't make it go away. So, you know, call a friend and be like, you know what, I'm kind of struggling with this and I just need to talk about it. Talk to God. God is my best friend right now, okay? Like, he and me, like, if I need to talk to someone, I'm like, all right, I got, you know, I know God's going to answer because sometimes you go through seasons where, yeah, you have your family and, but you don't really have a close person outside of your family that you can talk to. And, you know, but that's okay because you got somebody who's always going to listen. And that's what I love because, you know, I love to talk. And so it's really great because he listens all the time. And when he does talk, it's like really awesome stuff. It's never like super mean, you know, even if it's something I don't want to hear, he still says it in a loving way. So it's pretty awesome. It's like a, it, this, you know, it's great. Let him be your best friend. Talk to him. He's always there. I talk to him in my car. That's kind of my me and God time. I turn off the radio and I'm like, so, you know, yesterday wasn't that great, but I'm hoping tomorrow is, you know, could you make it better? If not, I get it. You know, sometimes we got to learn lessons, whatever, but it's, it's nice letting God be your best friend and letting him into your life and just really being real with him. So be real this season. Be real this Halloween. Take off your mask because God doesn't want to see the mask. He just wants to see the real you. So do I. So do your, so does your family. So do your friends. So just let them. Love you guys. Have a great week. I know this is a really long video. I'm just making up for lost time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon, alright? I just wanna, I just wanna see you free.